ThisBrex is a visualization technique for inhomogeneous datasets. The idea is to split the data into homogeneous subsets and to visualize these subsets individually in bricks. In this example, we compare the gene expression values of different types of mice. We have divided the data into groups, where one group contains all experiments conducted for a mouse. The dimensions in the group are sorted according to time. Here you see the VisBrix interface. The dimension group we just created are placed in the arch as dimension bricks. Each brick summarizes the data of its dimension group. These bricks are a multiform technique. That means that its data can be shown using multiple visualization techniques. The arch has different areas, a focus area in the center and the legs to keep contextual dimension groups. We can move dimension bricks from and to the legs, move them around and resize them. To uncover the structure of the data in the dimension group, we run a clustering algorithm, which makes cluster bricks appear. Each cluster brick shows one homogeneous cluster. We initially see a very abstract view. The average value of each dimension is encoded in the color. We can see the changes over time. Cluster bricks can also be switched to different visualization techniques, either one at a time or all at once. When we cluster a second dimension group, its cluster bricks are connected to the first ones with ribbons. Ribbons tell us about the relations between cluster bricks. If the ribbons between two bricks are thick, they share a lot of data. Outliers are connected by thinner ribbons. We now cluster a third dimension group. Again, ribbons connect the new bricks. We can brush the ribbons and the bricks using color. Selections propagate to all dimension groups. We can filter to show only main trends between groups or to show only outliers. Switching off the background ribbons makes the brushed ribbons stand out even more. We start exploring the data. Here we see an interesting relation. Some values of this cluster seem to be in a very different cluster in the other dimension group. In the parallel coordinates we can see the outliers, but we want it a little bigger. We resize the bricks and in fact there is one shared record. We now want to look at the brick in detail, so we switch to the focus mode. We pick the brick containing the outlier and explore both in detail.